All right, you guys, I'm going to show you um, how to make your windmill. So you can pause the video and go back if you need help. So your first step is to get your water bottle, and you're going to cut two holes in your water bottle. And you have to be very careful because we're using scissors here. So you're going to put it about this far down, and you're kind of just going to poke the hole. Okay? And then do the same thing on the other side. water in your bottle about this much. Um, I don't have water here, so I'm not putting any in mine. Next step is to take your two straws. You have the thick straw, which is clear, and the thin straw, which is the black one. And you're going to cut the tip off of the thick straw, so it's about five centimeters shorter than the black one. You can eyeball it, maybe about that much. Oops, okay. All right, um, then we need to tape this in place. So you're going to put the thick straw through your holes. It should go all the way through. And you'll put some tape around that so it's taped to the water bottle. Next step is to cut out your square. So I cut out my square already. And then I'm going to cut along the solid lines. Don't cut all the way to the middle. So it looks like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to put a little hole everywhere you see one of those black dots. So maybe do this on the lab tables so you don't make holes in the regular tables. Then you're going to take your brass fastener and you're going to put it through the back of one of the holes like this and fold it in and then you're going to take each one and fold it in and put it on the back. Finally, put it through the hole in the middle. So you have a little pinwheel that looks like this. All right. Okay. Next step, put that off to the side, is you have to um, cut on this straw. Now, this is the hardest part. So if you make a mistake, um, get a new black straw, but be very careful. So on one end of this straw, you're going to cut a little slit like this on each side. All right, and it shows on your paper. Kind of cut it like that. You have this paper. Um, and then on the other side of the straw, you have to cut so that it's a little slit like this. Okay, but don't cut all the way through. So it's kind of like a little like mouth like that. And only cut it about a centimeter from the end. All right. Then you're gonna take this piece and you are going to bend the shorter part so it's like this. Okay. And then you're going to take this other piece and you're going to put it into the end that has the slit like this. Okay. And you're going to put it in like that. And you're going to take that piece so that it comes out through the outside of that little slit. And this is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. So ask for help if you're not getting this part. Because I can't even do it right now. There you go. Okay, so it should come through like that. And then you're going to bend it on the outside of your straw like that. If you cut it too far and it's kind of weak, you can put a tiny, tiny piece of tape all the way around. And then it will be a little bit stronger. Okay? Then we're going to take this and we're going to put the little straw through the thick straw and it should turn freely like this. All right, remember this um, clear straw should be taped to the water bottle. I don't have any tape where I am right now, so then that one won't move. Okay. Last step is to take your string and tie it into those slits on the end 
So I have a piece of string. And so I'm going to put it through. Put it through the two slits. I might need to get you some thinner string than this. So it's like that. And then tie it. And then what I do is I tie it around again so that it stays on really good. I think I'm going to get you guys thinner string. All right. Then at the end of that, tie on your paper clip because we'll need to put a penny on here for weight. We can put a penny on there if we need to. And then you want to put this by the edge of the table like this. Now what will happen is when we blow, when the fan blows, so we're going to have our electric fans to blow on this, it'll spin your pinwheel and it should bring the string up. Now what you're going to need to do is kind of guide the string a little bit. So I don't have a fan either over here. But you'll need to guide the string a little bit so that it doesn't go off the end. See, so it goes this way instead. So as your fan blows, it'll do work and it will bring this up. Okay, so this is your prototype and this is what you're going to be building today and then starting to test if you have time and then Tomorrow we'll talk about what we can change to make it better. All right.